Hello and welcome back to also at Marble Racing Season 4. We're here with race 27, still gradually approaching the end of the season. And race 27 is at Spa by uh, Gato Stow, something like that. <laughs> Not 100% sure how you say that name. But yes, Spa by that name right there. Uh, we've got Whoop Whoops and Whoop Whoops backwards. And uh, Me6 ping on Discord after we already gathered here. Yeah, Me6 can be a little bit unreliable with the pings sometimes. Uh, that's why I always put an announcement in before going live uh, for these races so you don't miss out. But current standings, Pesky Bird is leading with 537 points. Stormy is second with 521. Superboss is third with 517. Wurt is fourth with 491. Moo is fifth with 457. Fluid is sixth with 456. I just remembered I don't use, I stopped doing the points at the start, but hey, we're doing it this time. Cheese seventh with 439. Demon eighth with 438. Sage ninth with 435. And Azur tenth with 416. And then below that we have Alfonso, Iceman, Weep, Shady, Luna, Eggbot, and Jimmy. So not many races left to go, but let's jump over to the track for our first race of the stream. So here we are, Spa. I'm sure many of you recognize this shape, but we'll have a closer look around in just a minute. So we head down to the start line. As you can see, there is a pit lane as well, which does work if there are any accidents off the track. Uh, there is a bit of a recovery system in place um, using the pit lane. will obviously set you back a bit and slow you down. But let's get everyone spawned in. There we go. We have 15 laps around Spa, a Formula 1 track above the ocean indeed. So let's do the predictions. Start a prediction. Two minutes. Get those predictions in. How many DNFs do you think they are going to be? Let's have a look around the track. So down the main street we have a crowd. And this crowd does move. As you go past them you'll see the crowd cheering. Cheering you on. Into the hairpin. On the first. First corner. End of the first straight. Through the high speed section, the very distinct curving bends going uphill. And then down high speed straight into a sharp right and a sharp left. A uh, good omen for a Belgian racetrack that I had fries for dinner. <laughs> okay. Kind of threw me off with the end part of that. Uh, so round the S bend up into this sweeping corner down past the uh, ball of dirt with trees on it through the clouds, the smoke and around to another dirt ball with trees very artistic I do say, it's, it's quite a quite an interpretation of the track uh, but actually fairly accurate in terms of corners and straights Uh, were they Belgian fries with Belgian mayonnaise? Belgian fries. Oh, fair enough. With German ketchup. Is is that different to uh, the ketchup? Then we have one final final ball of trees here. Uh, as we sweep round into the very sharp final two corners, you've got to be careful on. And you may notice we have a white line on the straight. There is. A DRS system on this track. I was guessing there is another one over here somewhere. It is right here. So these white lines are DRS lines. Not safety car lines. DRS lines. So if you are within no overtaking until that line. <laughs> yeah, everyone has to stay in order around the first half until they get over to that line. Or, or this line. Hold up. 
Uh, but yes, if you're within a second of the marble in front, you will get a boost of speed. So it should make for some exciting racing. With the predictions complete, let's start the race. As it counts down. And they're off. You can see the crowd cheering. And everyone filing into the outside slowing down for the sharp corner alfonso is going to head up into the lead and then accelerating down the straight iceman with some good speed goes up into first alfonso though is going to take that position straight back Let's slow it down a little bit more because they've really increased the speed through that section from the start and flues with an inside line going up into first a great line through there. And also we still have everyone running together. Coming down the straight. See it's quite rainy through this section. Not sure how well the rain's being picked up. But we do have some light rain. So Flutes is leading. Alfonso second. Iceman third. Weep fourth. Cheese fifth. Moose sixth. Going up the vertical section. Very famous vertical section of Spa this. And Iceman's had a disaster. I think there was contact at the top. And it slowed Iceman down. Eggbot slowed down as well. Iceman doesn't make it out, but Eggbot in trouble. Gonna go further. We'll see Moo getting past Boer there. There's some fighting for position. Sewing way down. Heading back to the main. So you can see it lit up there. The boost line. Looks like it's not 100% consistent. But it has meant that Luna has gone up into first. Alfonso now in second. Flutes dropping to third. And then down across the next line. There's the boost. Weep getting around Flutes. Alfonso chasing down Luna. Got cheese with a lot of speed as well. Gaining. And yeah, we do have a, uh, a bot message in the chat. I don't know if anything can be done about that. I know previously we had an issue. Oh, does it like I can... There we go. Can do it now. I've got the uh, ability back. Previously, we had issues where it wasn't allowing myself or any mods to do anything about those. And a hit there for Luna on the wall. Weep's going to go up into first. Alfonso in second. Cheese just in front of Flute holding them back. We'll see how far back Eggbot got set. Oh, uh, actually gained okay after the disaster. I was expecting them to be much further back. And Iceman has made it past Pesky Bird. So Pesky Bird not with a great start to this race. As we are approaching lap three. Everyone breaking hard into the final corners. Uh, it looks like Moo has gone through the pit route. Must have taken a fall. I did briefly look at my chat there. But there must have been a fall further back. And Moo's had to take the pit lane. And... Falling off the end of the pit lane is not going to be a great idea. So Moo's going to have to pit second time. Weeps on the move. New fastest lap. Flutes in second. Starting to break away from Alfonso in third. Let's see if Moo gets out of the pit lane successfully this time. A lot of speed coming out of there. Does make it out and will be at the back. Although Cheese has taken a fall as well. So Cheese will be at the back. I think Pesco is just out of reach of the boost activation zone on Demon there. And Alfonso crashing off the edge, going in too aggressive, trying to get around Wheat. Has been a disaster of a ending there. Uh, sending Alfonso all the way back to the pit lane. And Stormy's come out of nowhere here, up into second. Flood's now leading. Luna in third, Wheat in fourth, Shady fifth, Worst sixth, Jimmy seventh. And everyone's still fairly close together. A bit of a rough exit there for Flutes. See Cheese and Alfonso in the distance. Trying to recover time. Maybe a two-stop strategy. Maybe. Tactical, tactical manoeuvre. So out into the boost zone. So Weep's going to get some good speed there. Flutes with a bit of a slower exit. A Bump off the wall. Flutes will have the inside line on the next corner. We'll block out Stormy, Boy, and Shady. But Weep will take the lead. Still holding the fastest lap. 
but having the lead going to the next DRS zone may not be what you want. Just Fluge is going to get the launch, but there is a block from Weep, and Stormy's going to make use of that coming around the outside, but Fluge is going to tuck in front. Meaning Stormy can't get past Shady sneaking in front of Weep, so we've got quite the race going on up at the front. Battle between Stormy and Fluge around the corner. Just trading positions on the downhill. And Boer's going for a lunge. Makes it work. A great move by Boer there. Getting up into second. But Stormy is just behind Shady. Going for a lunge there. Doesn't quite make it. Going to lose a bit of speed from that. And heading back up again. Flew to the rough exit. Again, bit of back and forth. Coming out of the... Upward section, a few hits on the wall there. Boy and Sumi both clipping the wall. Shady's going to sneak through and move up to second because of it. See what's going on further back. Cheese and Alfonso still trailing slightly. But going down onto lap five, Boer's going to go into the lead. Flutes in second, Shady third, Stormy fourth, Weep in fifth. Then we have Sage and Pesky Bird just behind. Got a battle going on between Demon, Superboss, Moo and Jimmy. Superboss getting past Demon on the corner. Azur getting past Iceman. Eggbutt on the outside. Iceman will block Eggbutt off into the hairpin. Going back up to the front. Boy is trying to make a gap. You do need to try and get at least a second lead. Fleets is getting nervous. It is intense up at the front. You're going to need at least a second lead if you don't want the person behind to trigger the boost. Moo plus one, plus one lap. Yes, yeah, not looking too good for Moo at the moment. And Eggbutt has managed to get past Iceman in the background. So has Azur. Eggbutt and Azur battling it out. Alfonso and Cheese still trying to make back time, but it's going to be tricky. So coming up to the line, this could be a good shot for Fludes. Hitting the boost, there we go, Fludes making it past Boer. Going on to lap 6, Fludes will be leading. Stormy's got more speed as well, but Boer with a perfectly timed block. Boer's going to take the inside lane and will stay in front of Stormy. And then Shady and Weep are just behind. And look at the group behind them as well. Demon, Pesky Bird, Sage, Luna, Superboss, Moo a lap down, and then Jimmy. Quite the intense race. And Boers managed to get back past Fludes, probably in the second DRS area. And Stormy is waiting for the chance to get past. So our top three starting to break away now from Shady and Weep. Probably be trying to get that one second gap. Still quite the intense race going on on lap six. Up to the top of the so we've got trouble for Superboss. We're gonna have to go and quickly take a look. Superboss is caught on the inside wall, not managing to get enough momentum to get going again. And Luna is going to collide with them. Does that set them free or are we just gonna have a pile up here? Looks like we're gonna have a pile up. Superboss and Luna both colliding on the inside wall there. So F in the chat for both of them. It's all fallen apart and a disastrous end for those two. See Shady and Weep still very close together. Meanwhile, Boer and Fludes starting to make a bit of a gap. And Fludes going for a lunge on Boer and it's unsuccessful. Setting Fludes back to the pit lane to recover. And that is going to be very, very costly for Fludes. Yeah, the the <laughs> the violence there between Boer and Fludes fighting it out up at the front has been very costly for Fludes. But Boer is going to keep hold of the lead. 
Stormy is not far behind. But are they close enough? And Shady and Weep still fighting it out now for third place. And it is looking like Superboss and Luna are going to remain stationary on that inside wall. That is a race ending incident. So heading on to lap 8. Top 4 still fairly close together. Let's see if there's enough time. And it looks like what is clear of the... DRS zone on Stormy and Shady managing to get past Stormy there. Making some good time. Stormy starting to fall back. In the background we see Sage heading past Jimmy into turn one. Eggbot going past Demon. Down this straight Stormy's having it's it's all shambles. It's it's falling apart for Stormy. Not sure what's going on, but they seem to be running a bit slow. So Shady is moving up into second, although Weep's going to take that position, talking in front of Shady. So Weep in second, Shady in third. Shady went for a lunge that didn't quite work out. You've got to be careful with those. You could fall off the track. Stormy now back to fourth and was outside of the boost zone. Still not sure where to call it, a DRS zone or a boost zone. What to call it. It is like the DRS system, but technically that is a bit more complex than just a line with a boost under it in Formula 1. <laughs> Stormy falling from P3 to P4. It's all falling apart for Stormy. It is. It is. And Shady's fallen off. Shady has fallen off under the pressure from Wheat and has been set to the pit lane. And that is going to be incredibly costly that late into the lap as well but weep's going to make it past Boer. so weep now leading cheese actually has the fastest lap right now yeah no one else getting stuck there yet Boer's going to look for the boost on weep but weep's playing the block Boer's going to move to the inside is it enough it is just enough to get in front of weep a collision off the wall the pressure from weep there Stormy at least making it back up into third so far. Pesky Bird in fourth. And Sage, Jimmy, Eggbot, and Cheese. Fludes managing to recover to a ninth position so far. Demon in tenth. Iceman in eleventh. And then the three green slushies. So heading up the vertical section. Green Sushi is in bad shape. It is not looking too great for them. But it's looking good for the Ultraviolets right now. Let's see if we lose anyone else in the chaos. It seems like this is quite a hot spot for people falling. Especially when they're all near each other. The racing hasn't been the cleanest. There's been a lot of bumping and shunting going on, sending people off the edge of the track. Stormy chasing down Weep. We can see a group here. Sage, Eggbot, Cheese and Jimmy. And Fludes tucking in behind Demon. Superboss and Luna still remain there. Stormy not finding a way past Weep yet. We'll just be sitting behind looking for the right opportunity. A bit of a hit on the wall there is going to slow Stormy down. And Boer's main focus right now is consistency for the front. We have Cheese and Sage 5th and 6th currently. Demon to ninth, Fludes and Iceman. Battling out 10th and 11th. Here we saw a fall. There's Alfonso taking another fall. It was. 
is not great for Alfonso. And up of the front, Weep has managed to get in front of Boer. But has Boer got a response? We'll see coming up to the Rooster. Boer's going to have a bit more speed. Does find the gap, makes it past Weep and we'll have the inside line. Moving over to the outside slightly. Weep's going to go towards the inside, but Boer will be in front. And Stormy now has Pescuba just behind. Cheese with some great speed. We'll tuck it in front of Eggbot Sage now in fifth. Cheese in sixth. Heading back up to the front though to see what's going on through the next boost section. And Weep will be in front. Oh, there's a hold up with Shady. Shady is in the way. Currently a lap behind. Causing a bit of a crash there. And Boy's going to squeeze Weep up against the wall. But cannot get past. Very, very aggressive racing right here. A lot of contact. A lot of squeezing. But Weep is not giving in. Will not allow Boy to push their way through. And with all this battling. Pesky is now up into third. This could allow Pescubird and Stormy to gain on the top two. Going up the vertical section. Boer getting past Weep a bit quicker through there. Still got to find a way past Shady. Although could try and use Shady for a boost here. If Boer is quick enough. I don't know if they are. We'll have to see. Just quick enough to make use of the boost, which means Weep isn't getting any boost from Boer. So a great tactical maneuver by Boer, though it still has to get around Shady. Best situation here is to hold off until the next boost zone. And that looks exactly what Boer's going to do. And there we go, there's the speed, but Shady's going for the block. Shady is not moving out the way. It's going to make it tricky for Boer. And that means Weep is gaining yet again. We head further back. We can see Sage and Stormy. Sage in third just managed to keep Stormy behind. Then Eggbot and Pesky. Pesky are dropping to sixth. Then we've got Jimmy in seventh. Cheese in eighth. Still the fastest lap. Demon in ninth. We have Azur. Iceman just fine. Iceman's going to get past, go up into 10th, get a top 10 spot on lap 12. As there will be just behind, followed by Fludes. A bit of a slowdown there, collision. Go slow as uh, and Fludes down. So heading up to the top of the hill. Shady's still causing trouble and actually caused some big trouble for Boer. As Boer has been set backwards. I think there's a collision between Weep, Shady and Boer there. We're trying to get going again. It's slow. It is slow. And that is a big time loss. Comes out in sixth just in front of Jimmy. Up at the front though, Wheat is now in the lead. And has managed to get past Shady. Then it's Stor uh, Eggbot in second, closely followed by Stormy. But Stormy just squeezing past, going up into second. Sage just behind them in fourth. And then Pesky Bird. In fifth, Jimmy's going to get in front of Boer before the corner. Demon on the inside is going to tuck in front of Cheese. See Azur, an Iceman, and Flood's following after a good start. Flood's not doing too well currently. So we are on lap 13 of 15. Sage taking a big hit on the wall in the background. Been a while since a Boer moment. So a lot of speed here by Boer getting past Jimmy. Good corner as well. We'll be chasing down Pesky Bird to try and catch up with those up at the front. But Shady, although a lap down, is really causing causing some issues for those up at the front. Really enjoying causing some chaos. And going into the final corners of lap 13. Weep might get a bit of a boost here. Just misses out. But does have a big enough gap not to 
boost Eggbot behind. And Eggbot has a good enough gap on Sage. There's a three second gap between Weep and Eggbot. Stormy's going to clip the wall, meaning Pesky Bird's going to come through. And Boer now has Moo to deal with. Moo also being a lap down. And Weep flying off ahead has made it past Shady. That might have been some help from the boost down the straight. Stormy right behind Pesky Bird. Sage not far behind. We're now at risk from Cheese. Cheese has a bit more speed, but Word just closes that window before Cheese can get through. But a better exit line by Cheese means they can make it through on the next corner and gets in front of Word. But Jimmy is lurking behind. Gonna follow Weep up. And it's a good exit. Not too much time lost. Eggbot with Pesky Bird just behind. Then we have Stormy and Sage. Oh, that's a bad exit for both of them. Worse for Stormy though, currently stuck in the pipe. Now Cheese and Boer just behind. And so is Jimmy. So going on to the final lap of the race, things are getting exciting again. Weep has quite a good lead right now. Eggbot. In second, Pesky Bird. In third, there's a bit of a gap between them. But the main battle currently, Sage, Stormy, Cheese, Word, Jimmy, Azur, Iceman, Demon and Fluids, all very close together. So coming down the straight, down the hill, Jimmy's going to squeeze past Word. And everyone just too spread apart for the boost to affect them. But we're going to follow Weep through the final area. You say, not exciting for me anymore, but currently battling out for that seventh position. So still a strong top ten, which is good for the points. But as we're coming to the last two corners, it looks like Weep is going to be taking the win. Eggbot definitely not in range. And across the line, Weep takes the win. Eggbot will take second. Pesky Bird will take third. Now it's close here. Stormy and Sage. What's going to happen at the line? Sage with a bit more speed, but Stormy does beat Sage to the line. Then it's Cheese in sixth. Were manages to hold Jimmy off, finishing in 7th, Jimmy in 8th, Azur in 9th, Iceman in 10th, Demon in 11th, Fludes in 12th. And then we have quite a gap back to Alfonso. So we'll speed things up and wait for the DNF timer to count down. But while we wait for that, let's go over to our winner. So Weep claps in the chat. Congratulations to Weep. Good race there. Lots of excitement. Just the right amount of chaos. A few unfortunate events for some people. But a strong race for Weep. Managing to really extend that lead towards the end. And keep Eggbart and all those behind. Just out of range. And using a bit of Shady as well to help on the way. So why don't Weep and Cheese securing the fastest lap fairly early on. And still holding it all the way to the end. So wait for the wait for the countdown. We'll see Weep going around the track. A few victory laps. And Weep saying that's new. Normally I'm last. Not this time. It must be a must be opposite day. With the first place. Of course, Superboss and Luna will both definitely be counted out on the DNFs. Still stationary on the inside wall. Unfortunate end to the race for them too.
That's, yep. That's a good time for an ad break, though. So there we go. Results are in two DNFs as well. Everyone else was able to get around the track in time, so let's complete that prediction. Two DNFs. We do have two winners on that one. Complete prediction. There we go. Let's see who our two winners were. It was Iceman and Boer both getting predictions right, so congratulations on you two on the correct predictions. So, I am now going to go and put the results over on the leaderboard, and I'll be back with the standings in just a minute. Alright, the results have been entered, so let's head over to the standings. So yeah, it's a pretty good time for an ad break there, because the, uh, we're just waiting for the DNFs to come in and the entering of the results. So pretty well timed on that one. But after that race, Pesky Bird still holding on to the lead, finishing one position in front of Stormy, just holding Stormy off. Uh, so Stormy's going to have to put in a bit more work, needs a strong finish ahead of Pesky Bird to try and take that top spot. So Pesky Bird still leading with 567 points, Stormy in second with 547 Superboss in third with 521, Boer in fourth with 509, Flood's in fifth with 465, Moo in sixth with 463, Cheese in seventh with 460, Sage in eighth with 458, Demon in ninth with 448, and Wheat in tenth with 438. And below that we have Azur, Alfonso, Iceman, Shady, Eggbot, Luna, and Jimmy. So Eggbot gaining a position. There's still a battle going on between Fludes and Moo. Trading positions. Fighting out for that 5th and 6th spot. But Pesky Bird still sitting strong. Up at the top just holding Stormy back. Is not giving up that number 1 spot. Not many races to go. We're down to 5. Can Pesky Bird keep hold of it? We'll have to wait and see. Now, as always, we have a second race coming up, Dune Canyon Stadium. So that's going to be quite an interesting one. But for those watching on YouTube, this is the end of the video. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I will see you all in the next one.